Okay, so you think we ought to try this again? Well, again, best teacher in America, according to Bill Gates. I mean, maybe they've got lots, thousands, I think, of, of content up there. Maybe we just picked a, a, a bad example. So and this is, this is from the same guy? This is from the same guy, but this is uh, more high school content. So maybe 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 he's got a better repertoire with, with the high school stuff. Okay? Uh, could be. So, so this is uh, introductions to matrices. It's also a little bit longer, so maybe maybe he'll get to some of the whys and stuff. In Twelve this minutes. One. Yeah, because this is 12 minutes. Con! Really? Every time? Okay, yeah, maybe. Let's learn about matrices. So Let's! See, I think the enthusiasm is something we're not in my, my classroom. It's probably where you're Hollywood because of mathematics. Matrix. So what is a matrix? Well, it's actually a, a pretty small It's just hey, a table. Do you have any on you? It's all a matrix. <laughs> so let me draw a matrix. To, to get in the kind of category, we have to stay in the matrix or leave the matrix. At least this one has color. Wow. Oh. The other one was all white, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder when he decides to use Zero. different color. Minus five. That is a matrix. And all it is is a table of numbers. And oftentimes, you know, if you wanted to have a variable for a matrix, you use a capital letter. So you use a capital A. And sometimes in some books, they make an extra bold. So Old A. Bold means scribbled over. Extra bold. Two by three matrix. And two by three. Write it. Two by three. Below the bold letter they use to represent the matrix. And what is two and what is three? Uh oh. Well, two is the number of. You're in another bed. You know. Just for watching. I mean, you know, stinking yeah. badges. Yeah. Columns, okay. If I said a, if I said a B, I'm an extra bold. Extra bold. B is a five by two matrix. That means that B would have, I can put it to one. I'll just type in number zero. Oh, well, that looks a lot like he's writing those numbers. <laughs> so it has five rows. Five rows. It has two columns. So not another column. It's minus ten, three. I'm just putting random numbers here. Seven. And a random number generator at the same time. Pi. What's like going on? Pi! That is <laughs> what are the chances <laughs> that you randomly pick pi? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's literally zero. It's just a table of numbers. You can represent it. <clears throat> but it's nice to show that don't always have to be a whole space capital letters. Sometimes you write a two by three there. And you can actually reference. Have you the ever written underneath it? Like what size it is? No. If someone wanted a reference... And I certainly haven't said it this three or four problem. times in the last one. Maybe again, that's my problem. Yeah. So what is that? That is in the second row. It's in row two. And it's in column two, right? This is row one. Negative signs? Row one. Row oh, oh. So it's in the second row, Dash one. second column. Or, uh, so Dash sometimes one. people will write that A, and they'll write, you know, two comma two. So that's not a matrix. Is equal to... Zero, or they might write. Sometimes they'll write a lowercase a two comma two is equal to zero. Okay. You know, just, just like, well, what is a? And these are just the same thing. I'm just doing this to expose you to the notation because a lot of this really is just notation. Is it what is a one comma three? Well, that means we're in the first row. The two, first two, row, two, three. So this is just all the the fact that there was no third row is just the table all. numbers can be represented this way. We can represent yeah. different elements that way. So you might be asking, Sal, well, that's nice, a table of numbers with fancy words and fancy notations, but what is it good for? And that's... Absolutely a, nothing. A matrix <laughs> is just a table of numbers. So it's war. No. <laughs> way. Well, well, matrix, that's all it is. It's a, it's a table of numbers. But it can be used to represent a whole set of phenomena. If you're doing this in... Uh, in your algebra one or your algebra two class, you're probably using it to represent linear equations. But we'll learn later that it and and, and I'll tell you later with the whole bunch of different things. But it can represent 
it's very powerful in, in uh, if you're if you're doing uh, computer graphics or matrix, the, the elements can represent pixels on your screen. They can represent points in coordinate space. They can represent who knows? There, there's tons of things that they can represent. But the important thing to realize, is, to realize is the matrix isn't you could think of one. a natural phenomenon. It's not like a it's not like a lot of the mathematical concepts we've been looking at. It's a way to represent a mathematical concept. Wait, what did you say? Uh, I, have <laughs> to the back. I have to hear that again. But let's put that on the back this is the, Again, John, remember, this is the power of... A natural phenomenon. Yes. It's not like a... It's not like a lot of the mathematical concepts we've been looking at. It's a way to represent a mathematical concept. Or it's a, a natural phenomenon. Not apply. like a lot of mathematics. Because it's what a way to represent mathematics. What it actually <laughs> represents. Oh, he's going to tell us. Wait, what is that this again? On the back burner, what the <laughs> matrix is actually representing, and let's learn the convention because. I, but, but let's put that on the back burner a little bit in terms of what it actually represents. Why is this here? Computer filing cabinet. I have to say, as a teacher, that's never happened to me. <laughs> we do get interrupted. <laughs> yeah, so it's not by my wife. No, I always do for your experience. How do you multiply? Have Bill Gates buy you an editor? Find the determinant of the matrix. I don't know all those words might sound unfamiliar, unless you've already been confused by them in your class. He's going to do the determinant of these matrices. That should be all these really human defined conventions. Later on, a bunch of videos on the intuition behind them and what they actually represent. So let's oh, I can only walk out. So let's say I wanted to add these two matrices. Let's say oh, I don't think we're going to have enough time to finish this. Let's say, I'll do relatively small ones. Just <laughs> 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 you can you can tell already, it's already it small. smaller. I don't know, two, zero. I try to pick up my examples in advance. Maybe that's your problem. Yeah, it could let's be. Let's say matrix B. Matrix B is equal to minus 7, 2, 3, Ten. 5. Ah. So my question to you is, what is A from the old matrix B? It's like the word letter. Well, why didn't you just add those two in the first place? Someone defined. Oh, because you can't actually see that. They could have defined some other way, but they said we're going to make matrices add the way I'm about to show you because it's useful for a whole set of phenomena. So when you add, which we'll talk about later, you essentially just add the corresponding elements. So how does that? But in most other mathematics, the element you know doesn't make it's not connected to one column. Right. So it's three plus minus seven. Three plus minus seven. That will be the 1, 1 element. Then the row 1, column 2 element will be minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 plus 2. Put parentheses around them so you know these are separate elements. And you can guess how this, this keeps going. The, the, this, this element will be 2. But you're going to make us sit through it anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this element, this last one, will be 0 plus 5. 0 plus 5. So that equals than my class because why? Well, I'm thinking, I'm seven. trying to think about whether it's better than a PowerPoint. Minus one plus two. Because on a PowerPoint, at least you could have just filled in all of them. Minus five. Boom. And zero plus five is five. So there we, we have it. That is how we humans have defined the addition of the <laughs> But the aliens have this definition. Am I doing a different way? Uh, you know, you're mathematics. You might have been right about common. Remember, this is something we have to think about because <laughs> we're, not, uh, we're not adding numbers anymore. He was just genetically modified. Oh, wait, maybe he is transitivity? I need two normal numbers. It doesn't matter what order you, you add them. But matrices, it's not completely obvious. But when you define it in this way, it doesn't matter if we do A plus B or B plus A. Right? If we did B plus A, this would just say negative 7 plus 3. This would say 2 plus negative 1. It all would come out to the same. See it. That is matrix addition. And you can imagine uh, how matrix subtraction. I don't, I don't think he's looked that up in Wikipedia <laughs> yet. Transitivity! A minus B. A minus B. Oh, it's a bold minus. Because that's a matrix operator. <laughs> 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 oh! That's 
<laughs> I think it's a spider. A plus, is that the minus subset? Minus one times B. What's B? Will be Whoa! Oh, okay. Two, three, five. So he's defining subtraction. Yeah, number times matrix. You just multiply that number times every one of its elements. So that equals A matrix A plus the matrix. We just multiply this negative. If he hadn't bolded all those, this would be like a five minute minus two <laughs> minus three five. And then we could do that. That should be negative. <laughs> He does have an editor. <laughs> but he couldn't take another 11 to 12 minutes to fix it. <laughs> negative 1 plus negative uh -huh. 1 is minus 3. 2 plus minus 3 is minus 1. So wait for it. Plus 5 is 5. And you didn't have to go all the I like that. I, I made mean, mistakes too. Right. right. <coughs> multiplying a scalar. But I don't put video of them on YouTube yeah. as the best uh, teacher in the United States. All of the elements of the matrix. I think that's going to be some bitter if we just keep thinking about this that. definition of matrix addition, what do we know? Well, we know that both matrices have to be the same size by this definition, the way we're at. So, for example, you okay. could add these two matrices. You could add, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, not so random, I don't think. <laughs> it doesn't look random. To I don't know, minus 10, 